see that's sorry I set this thing on mugs that's how just sad this setup is right now that I have morning how are you guys I'm supposed to be working. Did you guys see that? My pajama pants on. Did you guys catch that when I turned around just now? I had um, a couple distributor calls this morning. Um, I've been up all day, but you know, I'm like, I'm good. I'm good from the top up. Um, Jeff is bugging me because he's like, we need to be spending days working on this stuff. And I'm like, not that I don't want to, like I love it, um, but I just, there's a million other things that I want to talk about, you know? I just didn't realize some stuff. Like, I've got a bit of a dilemma, okay? Um, I'm going to explain it here, and then I'm going to have Jeff, Jeff's like, I told him I wasn't going to go do a live, that's why I did three lives yesterday. I did three lives yesterday. I know, this Florida thing, I hope everybody's praying for Florida today. I was like, I'll do three lives on Monday. Um, and so then the rest of the week, I could just focus on this other stuff. And I didn't want to have to make this stuff work, but I can't get sponsors. <laughs> so if I want to continue what I'm doing with like advocacy and stuff, I, I got to like find other means of, you know, uh, how to do this because I've also slowed down on weddings. So. Jeff uh, is good. He's going to make that's it. That's Jeff here. He's going to make it so that I fully understand these compensation plans, okay? Because here's my deal with, with both the things that we were doing. Well, well, especially now with the CBD. You take CBD, there's no explain. There's really no explaining like how it works. It's obviously working. It's obviously helping people. And people are loving it. But what's happening is they're signing up. And they want to now distribute it and offer it to their families. And then people are asking, like, me about how the compensation thing works. And you guys, it's like 20-page PDF to explain the breakdown of the seven ways to make money. And, the, and it's like another language. So... Did you go Duling? <laughs> I went Duling right now. That's cross-eyed in Tagalog. I was like... This sucks. I don't want to learn how to do all of this. But now I got to teach. But you know what? I'm determined. I will not only learn how to understand this. I will teach it. So if you are waiting for me. I know you like this mug. You like this mug? Because I hate this mug. <laughs> um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mark my words. Today, I'm going to not only learn how to understand this entire thing, but I will teach it, okay? Oh, so if you're, if you're waiting, right now, if you're waiting, just enjoy the CBD and what it's doing for your family, and then hit me up in like a couple weeks here, and I'll be like first in this, because this, this, like it sounds great, but then it also sounds like, What? No, it's, so. you know, it, reading it, it's, it's confusing, especially if you're new to this type of, type of pay structure. I'm going to simplify this. I'm going to totally simplify this for people. I'm on, I'm on a mission right now because it doesn't have to be this hard. It doesn't have to be this hard. It's not. But here we were. We're just sitting, we were just sitting back like enjoying that like, oh, cool. They're loving their product and money's coming in. That's awesome. And I didn't realize like. Well, we didn't go to it into this with the mindset of like no i was like we wanted we want to add cbd to our regimen that was our yeah this is benefiting us and other people so that's kind of what we have lined up this week um so watch me i'll be learning my pajama pants on down here um but yeah i know i know sorry i said i wasn't gonna be doing lives but you know people were asking yesterday do you guys see the uh proposal thing that we did or that i did we as if I'm like 10 people right now. Um, and I love that some of you are coming in with your proposal stories. Uh, a lot of women admittedly here um, ruined the surprise. So I didn't feel that terrible because I definitely, I didn't have a surprise. 
for those who were um, curious about like our story, um, I didn't get proposed to. I had a ring thrown at me. So now that we start at the end of the story, <laughs> let's rewind and start back to the beginning. So I did the traditional uh, save three months of pay. Um, it's terrible, right? Wait, yeah. let's break that down. I really okay. just, I hate that that's the thing. Guys who are saving up three months worth of their pay to buy a rock, you know. Well, now, now we think of it like that. However, before it was just, that's kind of how it was, or at least for me. The yeah, standard. I know. I just hate that. I hope so, that that can change. I hope the next generation can like break that because it doesn't have to be that way. Nope, not at all. You know, um, and I mean diamonds themselves are actually another rabbit hole that the diamond get. rabbit hole. Forget it. I know. As I got like my diamonds, diamond, but you know, um, I know. I love the diamond rabbit hole though. Now that we've been educated on it, because one of my good friends, she sells. Well, she they they've got a shop. Okay, and they like school people all day long. All those places you're seeing in the malls, 70% off, 80% off. Guys, it, that's still marked up so they mark like 1,000%. Yeah, they mark and, it up 2,000%. And then, yeah, they can, of course, take 70% off of that. It's terrible. I know as I, as I sport these. And then the, the other thing, too, that I love with this is sometimes because when you're, when you're going into, like with doing this, like getting into detoxing and now like it's not so much fine like spirituality stuff i know that that turns a lot of christians off but it's more just like self-discovery and that doesn't have anything to do with messing up your relationship with your creator like at all you know um but you'll have the people because i I was also skeptical about all the other stuff too at first like the crystals and i was like what are all these people doing these rocks and crystals and all that i was like very against that and it's not that i do any of that i just I have a bit more of an open mind. I don't care as much. And you have these Christians that are so anti-gems and anti-stones, meanwhile rocking diamonds, like not getting it, you know? Um, <laughs> speaking of which, I got my... But you know what? Yeah, the, the first one I did was this one. And yeah. then that's when I really didn't know much about it. But then the second time around, I did this one when I had much more knowledge and so the that was five years thing, ago, yeah. though, and you got it on a huge, like huge discount. So he pretty much got it like super wholesale. There's no way I would have been mad if he spent if he spent money that like meant something, you know, it was, I actually had to hide this and do multiple separate transactions so as it wouldn't trigger any of our accounts. Yeah, because I was like, how do couples do that with each other? To like notify her because we had joint accounts, so I didn't want it. I wanted to make sure it was a surprise. Okay, but back to while we before we got engaged. Okay, so um, yeah, so this I had. Is, I'm a like, lot. sorry, this is more fun for me to do That's than fun. like sit through this booklet right well, now. You know, I can't, I'm, like, I'm going to start it off. I've got a headache gonna looking it. at this stuff. So go ahead. So yeah, I had a lot of grand ideas for the proposal. Um, I myself, I have a, a very bad fear of heights. Um, even just getting up on a ladder and looking down is, is challenging for me. Um, I didn't have any CBD back then to, to help alleviate that, but, uh, that wouldn't have helped either, right? Probably not. So, you know, I was trying to think of, of this really nice setting and I thought that a balloon ride in Napa Valley would be fantastic. And when we dropped down, I would have gotten out first on my knees and proposed as she was getting out as well. And, you know, I was thinking like, this would be fantastic at, you know, like either a dusk or dawn setting, like, you know, favorite, um, wine place to go, and I was just like, this would be so awesome. And then what happened? Okay, so while we were, um, this is terrible because people are gonna be like, oh my god, like, look, I was trying to do, we were living together, and my dad's a pastor, I wasn't Christian yet either. Yeah, and so I was like, look, here's the thing. Like, I can't marry, like, I can live with you, but I can't. But I actually, you. at that point, so I was actually. So terrible. Like, I'm not, we're going to try to teach our kids the opposite. And well, let's hope that they, mm. you know. Um, Learn from, from the past. But I was a sinner. And I we am all, a sinner. We are all, well, we're all sinners. And I couldn't tell my dad. And see, I was already like in my 20s, and I still couldn't tell my dad because I was like just so ashamed. And so it was. Like, I love this guy and, you know, 
I wanted to just be with him all the time, but we couldn't afford to get married right away. And we felt like we still had to go through planning for a wedding, you know, but at the, but I think it was, our, we were three years into dating. So we, we were friends for four years before we dated. And mm-hmm. by the time we dated, we dated for about almost three years. Yep. And, um, I was putting all kinds of pressure on him. Like you, I can't marry you if you're not a Christian. Christian, Like it's just not going to happen. You know, my dad's a pastor and there's no way. So he took it upon himself to start going to church. Okay. This is going to suck. I'm going to sound like a bad guy. We even did a marriage counseling as well. You know, we're all, you know, <laughs> it's going to sound terrible. No, because it doesn't it, one, we're, we're all born of sin. So that's, that's just, it's not that there. sinning part. No, it's I'm the saying, part that like I did this to myself where also, then I got the, when we're young and we don't have the mature minds that we have now. Okay. Yes. Things will seem much more different. Okay. I was in my twenties and I was like, really like, we've all been there. Don't date a girl in her young twenties. She is nuts. So go ahead. <clears throat> yeah. So I was like, you need to be a Christian. And then, so what did he do? He started, he took it upon himself because I was living, um, oh no, the first year we were dating, I was living in LA and he was in San Diego. And anyway, by the time we got together, um, I'd work on Sundays a lot because I was in the restaurant business. So our schedules were kind of off a little bit too. And I was trying to get my photography thing. Anyway, so he would take it upon himself to go to church and to read his Bible. He was like, doing what I forced him to do. And he was actually, I guess, liking it. It was, a lot of things started to make sense. Yeah. Oh, this is going to sound terrible. Because then, now he's like renewed and loving this new life and building a relationship. And I'm not working on myself. I was like, you know, you need to be Christian. Meanwhile, I was like, I'm going to do me. I'm going to do me. You do you. (laughs) So, so like a month or maybe almost, it was almost two months after he was like reading his Bible, going to church. He tells me, um, he doesn't want to sleep with me anymore. Did you guys hear that? Like it got really quiet. So he tells me like, okay, I'm taking upon this, but you know, we can't be doing this if we're not married. And I was like, Wait a minute, pump the brakes. Hold on. So I want <laughs> I was like, I wanted you to be a Christian. And I want <laughs> But you don't get to make that call without It's true that discussing this with me first because I'm a very passionate person if you can imagine. So I was like, no. Yeah, you know, and like you can be Christian and all, but except this one thing because obviously I gave up that conscience of the one thing because I want to be with you in that way like what this is what what, you know so he was like no I and you know what that that actually I we should have had a conversation about that yeah we should have I'm just I'm agreeing (laughs) with you you're about to throw something else in my face no 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 just at that point in time you know I was sound horrible I was trying to be said in that way and it was more abrupt than anything versus having a conversation, which I know now is Guys, very this was, ele- this very was like important. 11 years ago, okay? This was 11 years ago. So I was just like, okay, so what? So we're just going to like live together in sin because we're still living together, but like what, as roommates? And just like hug it? Can we, can we hug? Can we? He's like, of course we can hug, we can kiss. And you guys know that that stuff doesn't work, right? Everybody knows that that stuff doesn't work. It does. It, it's like you, we were trying to make it work, and that that's what that is why it says biblically, like don't even you you shouldn't even be living with the person until you're married because temptation and mm-hmm. and so he struck me with this, right? He kind of was just like, no, I, I I made up my mind, and this is what I want to do, and I was just like, we weren't even engaged, so I'm going, what? So what should I just like? Why am I spending all this money on rent? Like, shouldn't I just? Move back in with my parents. Hold on, you're paying rent? (laughs) (laughs) I didn't see a dime of that. (laughs) Kidding, kidding. Okay, so Uh. I was being a turd pretty much because then we went... It was just an awkward time because we were boyfriend and girlfriend and we just... 
I'd like come home from work, shower, we'd watch a show, we'd cuddle up on the couch, he'd like kiss on me and all that stuff, and then he'd be like, okay, good night, and like walk into the second room to go to bed. And I was just like, so here's long story short. I kind of snapped a little bit. I went a little bit. So, so hey guys, when something snaps, does it just snap <laughs> a little bit, or does it just does it just break? <laughs> this actually sounds really terrible. No, you know it's it's her passion, which is one of her best qualities too. So, what are you talking about? What's my passion? Sex? No, you just being passionate about. This. Oh, okay. Well, God, I don't even know how to word this. Where's right that now. mind at? Jeez, I don't even know how to word this right now. Let's just stop this live right now. I was going through a really sheer money. It was just a lot. You know, I'd moved to another town for this guy. I was like, I should have just stayed in L.A. I had my stuff going on there. If I knew I was just going to have to see you once a week, I could do that. And we could just hug and kiss. And then you could be on your way. Like, but to, it just didn't, it didn't work for me, you guys. It didn't work. I was like going through all of this stuff. Yeah, so in her defense, she had, she had sacrificed quite a bit, and it wasn't a conversation that we had. It was a one-sided thing that I tried to really just push onto the relationship. So I don't want you guys thinking that, like, you know, she was acting all out of, you know, just being <laughs> weird like, or anything. Like a- it, you know, thinking about it, part of it is justified. I'm not going to say all of it, but part of it was definitely justified with her <gasps> and how she was feeling and how she was doing so. <laughs> you just, there you go. So, um, I don't know what it was, man. I think one, one night I... Oh my gosh, I remember that night. I didn't know that this entire time he had already, like, bought a ring yep, and... I had it hidden in the one place that she would never find, the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the kitchen. It was in the kitchen. <laughs> but I worked in a restaurant, so I always had food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the kitchen a lot more now. Oh man! Man, I think it was just like in the drawer <laughs> with the spatulas. I never cooked. It was in the left hand drawer, the third drawer, in the very back. Okay, so so one night, whatever. I won't get into too much detail, but one night I was like big fat baby, and in the room, and I was like sad, and making noise, and he was like in his guest room, just like I don't know going to sleep because guys can just put their head on a pillow and just go to sleep and girls can't do that we put our head in the pillow and we just like our thoughts you scream and and typically like the walls no (laughs) no but typically the way that i go to sleep when my mind is on a million things you guys this was before the v topic this was before all of this stuff of like real world being woke stuff this was just my mind on other things and I couldn't sleep and he knew the he knew the way to make me sleep okay he knew how to make me sleep and now I couldn't even get that so he'd be like okay good night go to his room and just like go to sleep so one night I was like you're you're not gonna just go to sleep tonight you're gonna like also kind of be awake and irritated for just one night, just one night experience what I go through, and that's it. And um, and I, I locked the door, too. I, like, locked the bedroom door, and I was, like, just being, like, loud in there and kind of whining, and he was, like, God, oh, my God, I sound like a freaking psycho. <laughs> Words were exchanged. Things were getting heated up. She had locked the door, and... <sighs> There were two options. I was either going to kick the door in or use the hammer that I had in my hand to break the door handle. He was, like, breaking the door. It was one And and then I was, like, getting kind of scared. I was like, this is some domestic violence type of shit. Like, I'm going to end up on the news over just, like, like, can you imagine the headlines? 20-something-year-old doesn't get laid. (laughs) Who's this her mind? Guy, Guy about to propose to his wife. So, wife. God, our story is terrible. This is terrible. Yeah, so he pretty much breaks the door, comes into the room anyways, and then, like, throws the ring at me. 
He throws a box at me. <laughs> I remember we have a picture of that too that night after everything happened. It was like three in the morning. And I was like, what is And I opened it and he was like, at that point, of course, I blanked. I don't even know what you were saying. You were probably like, I was waiting to do this. I was going to yeah. propose to you. I was getting it. I was just like crying on the floor <sighs> in the bedroom. I'm surprised the neighbors didn't call the cops, actually. This, I wish that we had a better story, honestly. Like, our kids can't see this. I wish we had a better story other than, like, wow, mommy was just, like, really needing to get some and <laughs> lost her shit. <laughs> this is awful. Yeah. Shit, is that really... We haven't really shared this with anybody. No, this is... I'm surprised we're actually doing this <laughs> right now. <laughs> so... At least it's not the whole world. <laughs> yeah. So then, of course, I'm on the floor and I'm crying. And then we're, like, hugging. And I don't even think I said yes. I, I, don't, I didn't even say yes. I, I, what do you say? Because then I was like, I think I was like, wait, do you still want to? Like, do I get to keep this? Do you still want to marry? And he was like. What did you say? I think now we moved over to the kitchen, and you were like, like, of course I want to marry. I don't know. I was like, give that back to me. I'm taking it back to the store. <laughs> no, you weren't. <laughs> but see, you would have, if you really didn't want to marry me, you would have just taken it back and gotten your money back, right? Yeah. Are there no like refunds on that kind of stuff? That, that incident, of course, like, w wasn't the best, but that wouldn't deter. Yeah. Yeah. So we ended up just in the kitchen floor crying and happy and yeah i took a picture of her face at three in the morning such a good picture he took it on like the iphone one yeah it was like the iphone had just come out and so this is like terrible like picture but i was like happy with it and then you know it sufficed. I was like, okay, now there's like a timeline. There's like an actual like something to look forward to. I'm not just like living with my boyfriend who won't sleep with me. Um, oh God, this is awful. So could you imagine if you tried to hire a photographer? I'm just kidding. Oh, photographer to... That would so, have went viral. So that was, that was our proposal story. All you guys that are on this live right now are so lucky to see this and hear this. That's how I was proposed to. So. Definitely not what I had pictured in my mind. Talk about moment ruined. That's why I was like, I can't talk smack. I've had, I, since that, we have photographed a lot of surprise proposals. Mm -hmm. And anytime they think like something went wrong or that there's like, Oh, it could have been better, or I wish blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, no, this is great. <laughs> like this, that one where... This is awesome. <clears throat> I think there was one in, in San Diego where uh, the guy wanted his girlfriend to take her sunglasses off. Yeah, I shared that, I shared that yesterday did. on my... You don't watch my stories? I shared that whole story on here yesterday. I was working all day yesterday. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm just saying, you would have known. But yeah, that was funny. That she didn't want to take her sunglasses off. There one. were a couple others. Like, there's always either they're late or the girl, like, doesn't want to go down that path. Yep. Like, one guy, was try it was like a lighthouse, right? So oh, I was waiting no. by the lighthouse in Point Loma. And the girl was like, she didn't want to go there. She wanted to go down to another spot and take pictures. And he, like, with her phone. And I was waiting up by this lighthouse. And meanwhile, like, the sun was setting. And it's like I had to chase them down there. And, you know, I mean, either way... I, I think every uh, ours is just terrible compared to anything else. I don't think I've heard a worse proposal story in my life, honestly. It's fine. I wouldn't change it. Like that's that was meant for us. That was at that point in time. That's what God wanted to happen. So I don't know. think God wanted that to happen. It happened. I don't. It happened. I think so God was like I don't irritated I don't. with me that day for sure. I think he was like, what is wrong? Like, what is wrong with you? Because I, I can't even with that story. It's like 11 years ago. You see, there is like this power in this like 
that chemistry and that bond. And that's what I'm telling you guys. I take that topic so seriously because it's not just sex. Like, <laughs> what did I miss? Somebody just jumped in. That's Evelyn, right. you're going to have to jump off this live and like watch it later. But I was just like, uh. you know, the way we would like make before all of it, it was like we would make love and there was just this like crazy bond and then all of a sudden he's just like yeah i don't want to do that anymore because you told me to go to church <laughs> i'm trying to become christian and so anyway oh man well hopefully you guys had better experiences you know and if not it's it's okay it's you know don't dwell on that either i've been though you shouldn't you should just let that go i know this felt good I'm to talk moving. about it because I haven't really talked about it. I feel like this was therapeutic. <clears throat> Thank you, guys. Thank <laughs> all of you. They're sitting back going, oh, my God, she's freaking nuts. So, yeah, so we had talked about sharing it, but I didn't know that we were actually going to go full, full into this. So this is a surprise for me, too. <laughs> well, how would we have half shared this? I have no idea. I don't think about those things. <laughs> <laughs> There's just oh, no way to man. do it. Yeah. <clears throat> so. I feel like I could barely keep my eyes open. I was like smiling so big and like so. <laughs> when? <laughs> Throughout this where we're talking. Oh, for this live. I was like, not when that happened. No, no, no. You no. were so mad. Can you yeah. imagine somebody breaks into your room in the middle of the night because of your own doing? And. <laughs> and then I had to fix the door And they come too. in there and on one hand is a hammer and then the other hand is a box. And you're going, what the hell, you know? And, and then next thing you know, something's being thrown at you. And thank God it wasn't the hammer. We, oh, yeah. I think I was just like, yeah, you didn't, it's not like you aimed for my face or anything. It was just like, oh, man. it like grazed me. And I was like, what, what is this? So, okay, so that's our story. Of course I don't demand. I feel like Lana's on here. Give, give me sex. <laughs> of course I don't demand it in that way now. Like, I don't even have to ask for it now. It's kind of nice. <laughs> and we're married. <laughs> I definitely uh, don't ask for it now. Yes, through good times. But even before bad. getting married and like going through marriage counseling and talking about like our needs and desires and I'm just like, I need this X amount of times a week. Like I just need it to function. The best things in life are free and why would God design us like this if it wasn't for like to experience that? I mean, think yeah, about that, it. That was like, why are, why are we even still talking? We should just be, go we should just be having sex. There we go. <laughs> Continue this later on. I mean, why aren't people doing this every day? Well, God did create it for, for married couples to enjoy, so. <laughs> married couples. Yes. So, you know. Okay, I have to go learn about this stuff now, and Jeff has to do some affiliate calls. Yep. So, let me go figure this out and learn it. And then we're going to talk soon. It wasn't a big wedding either. It was, um, it was like we kept our budget like under $10,000. Because we were paying for it all ourselves. So yeah. We, we didn't want to ask anybody for help with it, money. Um, my dad told us, he saw our initial list of guests and he was like. Good advice here. Yeah, good. Yeah. He's like, hey, out of all these hundred something people, if any of these people have not invited you or Jeff to go have dinner in the past year whether it was at your place or at a restaurant, like if you haven't even connected with these people outside of work, cross them off this list. And we were like, what? We can't do that. We're going to offend everybody. Yes, we have a lot of work to do. So much work. Yeah. They're like, we have to work right now. <laughs> no, we really have to work. <laughs> um, but... We're going to work very hard. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so um, we looked over that list and half that list we were able to like cross off. I yeah. think we only had like... 80 to 90 people that we invited, and that included vendors. Um, we probably could have crossed out. And thinking about it now, yeah. We could have crossed out more, yeah. We probably could have done all of it with just... 
The thing is, you could have done all of it without the whole wedding. You could just hire, if you need the memories, you get a photographer to just elope oh, you know type what? stuff. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm down for all of it. I know people who've had, like, their six-figure weddings and are so thankful they did it that way. That's awesome. Whatever works for you. But... I would say definitely get a, a good videographer. That was one thing that I would have definitely um, got got better for. Yeah. 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 So, so did it work out? Did we wait until marriage? To be continued. Tune in next time. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff has to do his call. Yeah, that's a to be continued. Yeah. Because I maybe. All right, Mrs. Robinson. Yeah. <clears throat> so, but it was good. Our wedding was great. Everything worked out. Clearly. Ta-da! Ta-da! And that was our story. <laughs> These people know they're like, they're not working. <laughs> Go to your call. Go read up on the compensation <laughs> plan. Yes, we will. Go check out a jumpstart bonus. You have to compensate people. <laughs> All right, we got to go. <laughs> we <clears throat> we got to go. We'll talk to you guys soon. I'll talk to you guys soon. Jeff's probably going to like not want to do a live after this. <laughs> bye. Oh, bye. Bye. <laughs> the comments. <laughs> oh man. Okay, bye. For real. <laughs> God, I wish I didn't wait.